Hey everyone, my name is Nick and I'm a software product manager at BlackBerry in Waterloo, Ontario. This week, I'll be leading you through my day-to-day -day at BlackBerry as well as what the product management role is. Check the description for some timestamps if you're interested in some more specific questions. Let's go! I get up around 5.30 a.m. and go to the gym until 6.30 and then take a shower and eat breakfast. I then do some work on some personal stuff until 8.30 and then I catch the bus to head off to work. I sometimes take a fun route through the ravine, which is a nice way to sort of start the morning. And I usually arrive at work around 9 a.m. and I usually leave around 5 p.m. It's usually not too strict and it depends on when your first meeting is really. So at work, I sit next to two other co-ops, Dennis and James, which I work on some projects with. And they're both really funny and great people all around. To have some fun, we play some games of foosball, which can get quite competitive and play some big brain games of chess. So the nice thing about being in Waterloo is you're able to do a lot of the fun things you don't have time for when you're in school. For example, I tried out rock climbing for the first time with a friend and it was really fun, but I was really sore afterwards. Also in Waterloo, because of how co-op works, it's nice to see friends that are off stream from you, which means that they usually have co-op when you are in school. Also, you can join some fun clubs on campus and attend some events. So this is the technical interview workshop that Blueprint hosted, which is a club I'm a part of this term. I'm also doing some work with UWPM by helping them run their podcast and also do some video content. Waterloo has some pretty awesome ravines and parks. I really enjoy the Waterloo Environmental Reserve and the Laurel Creek Conservation Area. There's these lime scooters too that you can ride around the place, which is really fun. So what is software product management? At a high level, you're responsible for the success of a product, and that can mean a lot of different things. So does your product actually solve a problem in the market? Does your product actually satisfy user needs? When is your product released? And how are you going to make sure it's actually going to be able to be developed in time for that release? So you're making a lot of decisions based on information and talking to people from a lot of different disciplines such as software development, design, business, marketing, and sort of understanding where they're all coming from and making decisions based on all this wealth of information. So a little background on me. My first co-op, I did web development for a company called Wrangle. And on the side too, I was working with a student organization called Blueprint and doing product management for them. So I really liked that. and. As my second co-op, I decided to try for a product management co-op, and here I am at BlackBerry. As a software product manager, it helps a lot to have some development experience because with a lot of the products you're dealing with, they're rather technical, so understanding what exactly your product is is a little bit difficult if you don't have much development experience. And especially at BlackBerry, they have a lot of different products, so you gotta wrap your hand around a lot of different things. Another thing is that BlackBerry is actually exiting the consumer market, so unlike the thumbnail may suggest, Phones are no longer their focus and they're more geared towards enterprise facing software. So the main project I'm working on right now is to doing a lot of market research to sort of figure out what new products BlackBerry should focus on in the future. So this entails a lot of ideation, online research and analysis. So we meet daily with a manager to give him some products updates and also to fill him in on any interesting insights we've gathered so he can also understand better the space that we're working in. So this work is challenging to me because a lot of things aren't known. So a lot of things are ambiguous because you're at that beginning stage where you're trying to narrow down the focus for people later down to sort of understand what are the parts and fields that BlackBerry should be focusing on. So it's a little bit difficult to wrap your head around, but it's definitely really fun and challenging. So I'm enjoying it so far. So why I'm a product manager is that I'm interested in the bigger picture and also a lot of different fields. So I have interest in design, development, as well as maybe some stuff in business. And I think that product management is a really good sort of intersection of all these different fields. Also, you have to learn how to build relationships with teammates and others. Because as a product manager, you're not actually their boss, right? So 
you can't just tell them to do something and expect them to do it unless you have evidence and you're able to convince them that what you're saying is correct and that they should do what you're saying, right? So I think that's a really good way of sort of being able to lead and sort of get stuff done. So the most challenging part of the job for me is learning how to build relationships with others. So my inclination is kind of just to sit there and focus on doing my own thing, like when I was coding, but you do need to go around and talk to others and understand what they're doing and sort of let them know your own thoughts. And I think that that's something I definitely need to work on. My favorite part of the week for me was when I was able to understand some new insights based on all the research I was doing. So a lot of times when you do research, I think there's a little bit of a bias that you have a couple of things that you think are true and you're going in to sort of validate it. But it's really interesting when you're actually able to see something different or able to see something that you didn't expect at all, which I think is really cool and it's what makes market research and doing all this research, research valuable. So how do you get into product? Start with a field that you're interested in, such as development or design that's related to product and gain some experience in those fields because those things are really important for a product manager to understand. At these co-ops, talk to the PMs and ask them how they got there and maybe see if there's anything that you can help out with and get a little bit of experience with. Finally, joining a club and organization and taking on some leadership roles can be a really good way to sort of gain more experience with teamwork and relationship building, which is super important for a PM to know and things they definitely look for in an interview. So what's next for me? I think I'm going to try for a product design internship. And this leads to some general co-op tips I have that hopefully will help you. The first is that co-op is for trying new things. Just because you like something like development doesn't mean that you won't find something else that you actually like more. So you should try give it you should give it a try. You have plenty of opportunities and way more time after graduation to get really good at something. So don't feel pressured to sort of, I guess, specialize into development or whatever right away and to land a job at a really big company. So just do what you want to do and don't feel pressure, too pressured by other people because I definitely feel that. Finally, the co-op search means that you have to deal with a lot of rejections, which can suck a lot at the time, but you just gotta keep going and don't get too discouraged. Also, if you see a lot of other people sort of getting a lot of success, you only really see their successes, but you don't see all the times they were, they were also unsuccessful. Like for example, me, I had a lot of rejections before I finally got this job at Blackberry. So don't think that everyone else is doing amazing and you're the only one who's having a lot of trouble, so. Hey everyone, thank you for watching this video and don't forget to subscribe to 16 Weeks of Internships as well as follow us on Facebook and Instagram. See you later.